We can be alone in solitude and be very happy about that. Or we can be alone and feeling quite lonely or isolated. But holding all of that complexity and nuance and all of the, the elements of this. Notice what's happening in your body. And notice your breath, let your breath be a resource for yourself so that you can settle and calm. And right now, notice if you can feel some kind of sensation or energy in your body around those words. Whatever words are resonating for you, whatever that might be. I'm lonely, I'm alone, I'm isolated. And this is how that feels right now. And it's very natural for there to be a lot of of memories of how this came about and beliefs about that. I'm alone because this person or because I did this or didn't do this. So let's, we could work with that for a moment if you'd like, especially if it's quite insistent. We don't want to be suppressing anything especially when we're doing an inquiry. So if you're looking at some kind of words or a memory or a video clip or something, especially if it's distressing, then you could do your tapping or tracing. Just bring your attention to the sound and sensation of the tapping on your forehead. Put it into a frame, take your eyes around the space outside of the picture. We're just reminding ourselves that whatever it is that's coming up, we're not in that situation right now. We're really kind of focusing in on the experience of feeling this way. Take a few deep breaths. It's often very helpful to keep coming back to the breath. And to relax our body as well. Notice if any part of your body has tightened up. Very common for us to have the shoulders come up or to brace our shoulders through the back of our body. Maybe our gut gets tight. Notice what's happening in your body and see if you could let that relax as you breathe out. Even softening 5 or 10% can often get a bit of a relief. And then bring to mind something, maybe an example of something where you feared something would happen and then the actual experience of it was different from what you had projected that it might be. Take a moment to come up with something. Look at that from both of those perspectives, what you were afraid it might be like and then what it is like what it was like. It's not necessary that it was better or worse than you thought it might be. It might just be that it's different. Like something that you were worried might happen and then what was your actual experience when something similar did happen.
use an example from yesterday. I'm alone on the holiday. Stay in touch with your body, with your breath as you're looking. And bring your attention into any sensation in your body right now. We always start by looking at what is the space around the shape of the sensation. So sometimes sensation goes right to the edge of the body and more often it's in the middle somewhere. A lot of times sensation has a, an undefined edge, just kind of is intense and then it gradually drifts away until we can't feel it. Other times there's a defined boundary. So notice what the situation is. What is the sensation in your body? What, what are you being drawn to look at right now or to, to notice? And what are the qualities of it, the space around it feel like? Is it moving or still? Does it feel threatening? Is it okay if it's here? It's often helpful to welcome the sensation somehow. Even if it's painful or tight or, I mean, it's associated with something that's not welcome, feeling lonely or isolated. So the sensation probably isn't our favorite thing to have happen right now. What would it be like to see if you could be welcoming it for a while, just to see what it is that is going on with that, with that energy in your body. And right now, do you have the capacity to stay with the energy? And if not, not shame yourself for that, just to let that be. We welcome it as much as we can in any moment. And if it's not too intense, see if you could open a little bit more to it. Why is this here right now? What does it want you to know? What purpose is it serving? Remember to stay connected with your breath and with your whole body. Our attention might be drawn to that specific location where the sensation is the strongest. Or we might be drawn into thought, memory, we could work with thoughts. I'm just going to give this several minutes of close attention. What is it that it needs from us right now? And if I'm not really feeling welcoming in any kind of a wholehearted way, maybe you could look to see if you're feeling like it's tolerable. Could you tolerate this for a little bit more? And notice the actual sensation. Does it feel hot or cold? Is it sharp or stabbing or burning? Is there any sense of threat that like could hurt me? How much resistance is there right now? 
and how much welcoming or tolerant. And then let that all settle, let it subside. We can always come back to it again if we need to. But bring yourself back to more of an observer. Notice your whole body, notice your breath. Just take a several breaths, just really let yourself relax with your breath. Take some deep inhales even so that you can feel your lower rib cage expand. And then let it go and let your whole body soften as you breathe out. And then we're going to shift gears here. So let that whole inquiry move to the background. Really focus back in on your present moment experience. Sitting in the chair, on the floor. The flow of the breath and how it feels. It's so cool and when you breathe into your nose. Really focus in on the tactile sensations. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed or frozen, you could hold your hands. You could open your eyes and look around, stretch your body for a moment. Whatever would help you, whatever would help you to change gear. And now bring to mind some situation that was also difficult, not necessarily the same one. Well, it might be a similar situation that you handled in a different way. And for a moment, we're going to really tune into what are the strengths that you bring to that kind of situation? What are some strategies that you've used in the past? What are some supports that you might have had from other people? What is your own internal resilience? So we're going to take several minutes to really tune into that. So it could be a memory comes up of, well, when I was in that tough situation at work, this is what, this is how I stabilized, or this is how I found my strength, or found my courage to speak, or whatever it might be. So let yourself imagine and bring that to life in your mind. You can see the colors, who's in the room. Step back enough that you can see your own body, your own body language. You can tell just by looking that you're actually okay. You're strong, you're confident, you've got the ability to handle the situation. Notice what that feels like in your body. Notice your breath. And check your body language. If you're sitting kind of slumped over then Bring yourself into a more powerful position. Got lots of room to breathe, shoulders are down. Your back is strong. Your breath is easy and smooth. And see yourself as you're experiencing, handling a situation like this very well. You're not reactive. You're really standing in your own stability, your own strength. Really feel that in your body and in your breath. Your mind might keep kind of dipping back into the other, and that's okay. Just kindly bring yourself back. 
For the next two or three minutes, we're really going to focus in on that visual, on the feeling of it in your body, when you're standing in your own strength. You're like a rock. You can handle this. And if you're alone or feeling left out, what are some of the things that you would do? Maybe it would involve some kind of a treat, like going for a walk in the forest or calling somebody. Maybe you would take the time to soften, to understand where that other person's coming from. Really recognize that it actually doesn't have that much to do with us. Everybody has their own journey, their own shortfalls, their own reactivity. And it can be difficult when it lands on us. And notice if that understanding helps, helps you to remain centered and balanced. We're really just paying attention to how this would turn out if it was the best me. I brought all of my strength and capacity, courage and understanding. Take some time to really notice what that feels like, what it looks like. This is you at your most resilient, most balanced, at your strongest. And then let that go and come back to breathing and noticing your body. Notice what you feel like now. Notice the energy, the sensations, and notice the emotion too. Just because we're feeling strong and centered doesn't mean sadness is gone, whether we're no longer affected by something. Let's take a few minutes to feel into the emotion that's going on emotionally for you right now. Stay in touch with your breath. And notice what is welcome, what is tolerable, what is unwelcome. No right or wrong with this. Don't shame yourself depending on what you find. It's fine to be resistant to something. Very natural, of course.
And then review this whole process, the whole inquiry, and see if there's something that you want to return to. What is it that came up that you think, oh, I didn't quite have enough time with that? I'm surprised by that. I'd like to have another deeper look at that. What would you like to bring forward? And then tune back into that feeling of being strong and balanced and capable. And open your eyes and set your intention to carry that into your day, that strength and capacity that we all have.